Hey everyone, I'm gonna print that demo block that I messed around with the other day. This is where we had the grid. This is where I drew with gesso to kind of mask out the spray paint so it would eat away at the builder's foam. And um, this would leave it protected or raised. So we're gonna print this, see what this looks like, and I'll share the results with you in a minute. So uh, be thinking about how you can use this creatively. You have three assignments. Think about which one makes sense conceptually and also visually to use for your print project. So I'm going to print this and let's see what this turns out looking like. I've got my black relief ink here. This is acrylic. It's water-based. We're going to start to ink this up here. This one I did not gesso. I just left it blank. Uh, so you can see the difference in the two. It's an optional step. I like to do it because it gets a little bit more consistency with the various backgrounds, but it's not obviously required. Um, so this way it'll show you what the two different types look like. The first one that was more of a building plan, I showed you that one. I gessoed that one just to give it an even finish. And this one I left just the spray painted surface itself. How's everyone doing? You guys surviving okay? I know these are strange times, but I've been thinking recently, this is really interesting to see how artists respond to being in quarantine and working in isolation. Artists should be really good at that, just hunkering down in the studio and making work. Uh, so uh, it could be an interesting opportunity to work with different materials and maybe challenge yourself to do things you wouldn't normally do in the studio. I know it's a drawback, though. I, I still like to see what everyone's up to, so keep in touch. Uh, we can use the group me to share images, to kind of use as an informal critique since we're lacking the formal critique aspects from the class. But in a couple of weeks, what I'd like to do is get everyone together and do maybe like a Google Hangout or, or a, a Google Meet uh, to be able to see what everyone's got going and do like an in-progress critique. I think that would be fun, or we can do that over Zoom as well, because I think it's important to hear and see the work that you're making to get some critical eyes on it and get some feedback. So remember, this should kind of sound like bacon sizzling in a frying pan as I'm inking this up, and you can start to see the image developing here. The eye is turning out kind of curious here with the brush strokes. I've got this uh, grid over here. I've got my little texture that I created on this part. And then this over here is the taped off section. So I've got that pretty well inked up. Uh, fortunately, my paper's a little bit smaller. You kind of see here some of the image. It's a little bit hard to tell because it's kind of black on blue. Uh, but you can kind of see some of the parts of the image here. I'm going to put my paper on top. See if I can get most of the cool stuff in here. I'm gonna kind of lay it down flat like this because the ink will act as a bit of a glue and stick it so it doesn't move as I'm doing this. And I'm gonna do circular motions with my wooden spoon to get a nice impression from this print. I don't know what day y'all are watching this, but it's April 1st and I saw someone shared on Instagram and said, please don't do any April Fool's jokes. They're not funny now, right? It's uh, maybe April will be a new optimism, a new hope, because things have been kind of down and dreary recently. I watched The Lion, uh, what's it called? Tiger King, did you guys watch Tiger King with Joe Exotic? OMG, am I right? Have you seen that? Wow. Riveting. If you haven't seen it yet, all you cool cats and kittens, you should check it out. It's really interesting, to say the least. I watched it, I think, in two different sessions. Binge watched the heck out of that show. If nothing else, everyone's getting their Netflix queue all caught up. Am I right? So I'm using even pressure here, using the spoon to get down an even amount of ink embedded into this paper. I'm not, I'm not really bearing down and using a ton of weight or pressure. It shouldn't be really like physical effort, uh, but it should be a nice, consistent, even pace, kind of like working the spoon that way. Don't kind of tip it this way because then you'll start to get lines. 
And again, remember, I can take a peek at this by lifting up a corner, if I can actually do that, and see how it's developing, and then maybe notice there's a lighter area, like over here on uh, this side. Uh, I might need to give that a little more attention. I'm curious how this eyeball turns out. All right, let's give this a go. Let's see what we got. Go for the gold. Pretty cool, pretty fresh. Here we go. Here's our finished print. Let's take a look at this. We got the texture up here, embedded a texture. You could do this with a nail or an X-Acto knife or even draw with a pen or a pencil. Here I laid out that uh, kind of net texture. And look at that interesting uh, atmospheric effect that it gets with a little bit of kind of dotty texture. And then this is my eyeball here. And I think what I did is I sprayed it too long. So here you not notice a nice brushwork and it masked it out good. But here in the center, I probably sprayed it too hard. Um, so this is something that you could get a little bit more uh, reliable or consistent um, effect with if you use a lighter approach with the spray paint. So I uh, just wanted to give you an update on how to print with these alternative relief surfaces using blue builder's foam. You can also use pink builder's foam. Uh, this comes in different densities. You can have it lightweight. You can have the thicker stuff. And like I mentioned, you can also cut it into cool shapes if you were thinking about um, doing something uh, as opposed to a rectangle or square. You might have an arch shape or a circular shape or make some kind of funky shape to make your image on. It's a lot more flexible that way. So here's our finished print. Here's the other one that I did. And hopefully this gives you some ideas how you can be creative and uh, use this to good effect on one of your prints. Uh, remember, this is water-based, so it should dry within 24 hours and be good to go. It might even dry quicker than that. So peace out. Enjoy. KIT. Keep in touch. See y'all. Peace.